Transition period 2019. In this transition period of 2019, the first month, the first of 2019, the new year, I started something more powerful than just a simple old re resolution, a uh, simple old uh, New Year's resolution, but something more powerful the will and want to lose weight. As I transitioned to this new ketogenic diet, there were some changes that I, I wasn't really expecting. Uh, like the amount of food I would have to stop eating. Uh, no more anything. Just pure on, pure on soda. And just keep to it like that. I wasn't expecting none of that. Not one bit. So, I tell my mom that I want to eat purer. I want to Oh, I want to eat all this food, you know, food and stuff. She's like, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, take note of that. <laughs> I tell my niece this, you know, it's okay, cool, everything's good. Um, so, uh, we're moving on along here. Uh, I don't actually start my diet. I don't actually start dieting until the second month. Uh, and why is that? It's, it, it's because I'm transitioning. I'm going from a from a boy to a girl, and it just hits me so it hits the whole family so fast that the the beautiful little boy they had is now a, a beautiful young woman before their eyes, and of course uh, the woman part is uh, the ketogenic uh, diet, uh, so they have to deal with the keto little the little keto baby they have now, uh, so. My mom, of course, uh, buys me some sweet shit, and I can't have that. She's like, well, what the fuck, you know? Uh, she forgets time to time, so she so she buys me some sweet shit, and I'm like, I can't have this. I'm sorry. Uh, he can't, and then she's like, well, here's something. I'm like, can't have that. It has bread. No. <clears throat> so, okay. Things seem to be going a bit smoothly. I'm eating... Potatoes and all this other stuff. And I later found out that I can't be eating potatoes because it's, it's not going to really jump me into the, the ketosis that I yearn for. So I have to cut the potatoes. She gets a little surprised by that. Okay. Uh, so I'm eating just plain meat and stuff. I found a good alternative and it fills me up, uh, it fills me up with enough carbs. It fills me up with enough uh, potassium. It fills me up with, uh, with uh, vegetables. It is a spinach wrap from Subway. So I get the... Uh, Subway Club, make sure I jam pack that shit full of the most meats uh, that you could add on to the bacon, the uh, pepperoni, get some cheese, it's all wrapped in there, sometimes I get the steak and cheese, and it's a whole spinach wrap, eat that, uh, I just eat that for about maybe a month, uh, of course not every meal is that, but you know, whenever I did eat something, it, it would be that, uh, usually, typically. So, things are going smoothly. Uh, I'm practically in, in ketosis already. So the keto starts working. Here's the thing. This is what I like to call from this transition period into the breaking point. When you've eaten so much spinach wraps from Subway, your tongue starts tasting the spinach, and then it starts tasting the wrap. What I mean by this uh, is that I taste spinach, and I don't really like the taste of the spinach. Like, the spinach is just overpowering everything. But what makes everything much more worse is that I can handle the spinach flavor. All right, fine. Is that I can taste the wrap. The, the bread or whatever they make the wrap from, it tastes like Play-Doh. It tastes straight up like Play-Doh. Some weird edible Play-Doh. So, I get, of course, the spinach wrap. My mom asked me, well, actually, yeah, before we reach the breaking point, uh, that's a little tease there, but let me just cover this little thing. Um, 
I eat, oh yeah, I eat a lot of buffets to get my fat up, to get my fat real up. I went to Golden Corral, uh, seemingly, it seems like almost every day, but every time I would go work out, and that's another thing too, I, I, I got a gym membership. Um, so I got a gym membership, uh, every day I would go work out, so it's three times a, a, a week, I would go eat at a buffet. The buffet is like right across the gym. And I would eat nothing but the meat there. And then I'll end it with some ice cream or something like that. So it's still, it's very, it's, it's low carb still. And it's still very much high fat. At least it's a lot of fat compared to the carbs that I eat. <clears throat> so I carry that way and I'm in, ketos I'm in, I'm in ketosis. So I eat, I eat the... I eat the uh, the buffet one day. I'm not hungry. Then the next day happens. This is this is what leads up to the breaking point. I would have to say because my eyes were doing so good. Uh, but now I was in ketosis. So I eat a lot the the day before that, and then on on this day that I that I woke and I've raised. Uh, my mom was like, here's some food, eat it. But I tell her I'm not hungry. I tell her this, that I'm not hungry. And every time I tell her I'm not hungry, she goes, uh, and then she waits a bit. Like 30 minutes later, she asks me again. It's real annoying. So, I'm getting sick and tired of this, so I just tell her, mom, I'm not, I'm not hungry, you know. Uh, again, she gets really upset. You know, this happens time to time. Uh, so, she makes me food. And then she says, here, eat it. She puts a plate of food there. If I eat that food now, I'm not going to burn any fat. I'm not going to burn anything. I, everything I come this far is going to be thrown down the drain. And this is going to be for shit. Usually what I would do is I would, I would just eat the food. I'll be a little cuck. I'll, little, I'll be a little bitch boy on the same path to the fat destructive, the fat destructive way that I used to be. But this time it was different. I took the food and I put it in my room. And I didn't eat. Uh, I, I, I forgot how long I, I, I stayed up. It had to be like 12 o'clock, maybe. I don't even know. But I went to sleep. I, I woke up. And uh, the food was still there. No appetite at all. But the meat, the nice cooked meat, then I felt bad for doing it. But I threw it away in my trash can. I didn't need it. I didn't want it. And I knew she was going to waste food. She wasted the food. Uh, she really shouldn't have, but she did. So that's the uh, consequence she she did. To someone with a with a with the brain of a fat kid, to someone with a with a soul of a fat kid, uh, wasting food is a big like what the fuck, dude? Just feed it to me. So sadly, I had to break my own fat code and I threw away the food. Anyway, so that day carries on, and what do you know? Uh, but I'm actually hungry. Whoa, mind blown. I know, you know, humans get hungry. Uh, so, spinach wrap, you know, so, this is where it all collides. I did so good, uh, but all good things must come to an end, right? So, this is why I called it the breaking point. So, I ate that spinach wrap. I tasted the Play-Doh too fucking much. I spit it out. I regret my life. I open up the wrap. I eat the meat. And the meat rubbing against my tongue, it, it is not good. I feel like vomiting. I don't feel like eating. I feel I feel like I should eat, but uh, but I'm like too hungry. I'm I'm hungry, but my, my tongue just wants to reject it so much and so bad. So what ended up happening was I'm I'm on my knees. I think I think I may even cry or something. I'm not I, I'm not too sure, but. It tastes disgusting to me. Uh, I get bacon. I get some meat. And it's all wrapped up with some cheese. I eat that. And it tastes so good. I realize the cheese makes everything way more better. So I eat that. I'm trying to scoff down as much uh, lettuce as I possibly can. Add some pickle. And I know I shouldn't ask for this. But I call, call my mom and say, Ma, listen, I know I shouldn't have this. But do you think... You could please get me uh, some barbecue. 
Because there is no way I say can't. Because the barbecue chicken they have there isn't actually well, it's a barbecue place, but they sell breaded chicken, which is a which is for keto code. It's no, you cannot have breaded chicken because it has bread on it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. So you can't have not you can't have, you cannot have that breaded chicken because it has bread on it because it's breaded chicken. It's like chicken tenders basically, and that's like you know that's a uh, one on one keto. That's like no, you know. So when, what ends up happening, uh, well, not only is it chicken tenders, but it also comes with a big, large sweet tea. It comes with the fries, and it comes with a piece of bread. So that is definitely 100% no keto code right there. There's no other keto code. I call up my mom. I tell her, you know, I, but by the way, I don't, I don't really have money for this stuff. So... Uh, when, then I didn't really. But anyway, I call her up. I say, hey, Ma, can you please do me this favor? She says, oh, yes, of course. No. Thank you, Mom. I just want to say that. So she does it. She brings it home. I eat the shit out of it. I drink the tea. I eat the fries. I eat the chicken tenders. I eat it all. And I feel... I'll, I was watching like some Yu-Gi-Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, weaving out. Yeah, And I got... I got half full. I couldn't believe it. I got full on this. And then I had it just shit. I had some massive diarrhea shit. Then I came back and I picked out again. And then I massive, massive, like fucking the bathroom had my ass basically. And why was that? I don't fucking know. Even to this day, I don't fucking know what fucking happened. I guess I ate too much or some shit. Body wasn't ready for that. Uh, I'll get more onto that in a in a couple seconds, but um, but I eat eat the shit out of uh, I eat the shit out of that basically. I'm full, the day's over, I go to sleep, I wake up, I have to go, I have to go grab uh, I had to run some errands basically that day, so. My niece comes to piss me up. Uh, I hop in the car, but uh, all all don't seem good because I wake up, I open the door, a light shines, hits me in the face. In that instant, that that Thanos snap, that instant pain, a mind grain in my in my mind just hurts. The the cream on the top, the little cherry on top of that, and my mom asked me at that moment. Are you hungry? I just wanted to fucking explode so fucking hard. The amount of stress that has came into my life with that phrase. First of all, I just woke up. Of course, I'm not hungry. There's too much to be said. I don't want to be angry. I don't want to be a dick. I don't want to be an asshole towards my mom. Uh, but all this pain, all this anger, all this suffering just comes, hits me. I close the door. I lay back down, and then I get a relief. When I wake up again... The pain that I felt in an instant is still there. I go to the bathroom, I sit down, and that pain is just throbbing in my head. I go into the car, we drive off. The pain is still there. I feel like dying. I know that it, that I know it's probably because of the carbs I ate. It probably kicked me out of keto. This is my fall from grace. The war is over. I'm fat again. <laughs>